All right, it's about 9 a.m. Just walked out to uh, check on the Redfoots. First night in their new little enclosure. Um, it's an eight by eight. These are, you know, juvenile uh, yearling, two year olds. And uh, we threw this together yesterday um, just to give them, they like being out in the grass, of course. You know, the, I was keeping them under the, uh, under my lean-to over there on the slab and we were just putting, you know, some, some substrate down for them, which was fine. And, you know, they got plenty of sun and, um, but when I would put them in the little sunning cage out in the yard in the grass, you could just tell how much they really liked it. They could, you know, eat grass and some clover and, and such. So I decided to go ahead and already had pretty much all the materials to uh, move it out here. So we decided last night to go ahead and move in the yard. Dug about a four to six inch trench for the boards to go down into. And then it's, uh, you know, two, uh, two 10 inch boards stacked on top of each other. So they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty tall and then we got the you know the boards on top to keep them I mean, they weren't going to climb out anyway but um, move their water out got a little sunshade I've got another <clears throat> got some other uh, shade pulse coming that's a that one actually is an 8 by 8 that would have covered the whole thing so I just rolled it over and not done we threw this together yesterday like right at dusk so uh, we're going to change it just a little bit um, and make it uh, where they've got a constant shady spot back there and of course they've got their little little house back there uh, that they stay in and let's see let's see who's out and about already this morning All right, there's crimson he's already out exploring a little bit hey crimson and then so now there's the little their little house um, I don't know where rain and tide are at. They might be back in the back, but I'm not gonna bother. Let them come out on their own. Planted a few, uh, some sage, sedge plants, sedge grass in here to, you know, give them some shade. And, uh, there he is. So as those grow and Kind of fill out and we'll add some other stuff i just run up to the <coughs> little uh <coughs> excuse me nursery that's right down the road and picked those up yesterday she usually gives me a decent deal on stuff of course they got their little water feature over there that they can uh move in and out of house here my yard man's about a week late getting here the guy comes every two weeks and he missed last weekend so he's coming today that's why the grass looks like this. So yeah, just wanted to come out and check on them this morning. And uh, I may end up doing maybe one more board on top. Add four more Lego bricks and, and do it like a a four or six inch board on top and raise it up just a little bit higher that way it's you know i can kind of see i'm also going to mount a little solar light in here um that way if i have to come out here at night it'll kick on may mount it on the swing right there and it'll kind of shed a little light so we'll see but uh yeah and of course the other thing is you know i'm hoping to move back to Alabama in the next year or so, so I didn't want to make something super, super permanent. Um, this, and you know, the lumber's cheap, and if it, you know, rots in a year, so what? We just replace it, it's like $8 board. So, $8 divided by, you know, a year, it's not very bad. 
So probably total materials here is about 60, 60 to 80 bucks to give them a, a nice little enclosure. And, you know, it only gets cold here about two months out of the year. And then it's still not, you know, like up north. We're in southeast Texas, right along the Gulf Coast. So January, February gets a little, little chilly and they'll come in go in the shop probably I'll probably set them up with a temp in the shop with lights or you know I may run something out here heated who knows but anyway for about an hour's work and 80 bucks turn out okay and you know they're not they're not like full-grown so he's about there's two others that are a little bit bigger than him but so they've got a lot of area versus you know an indoor enclosure so yeah, super happy with it. Peace.